because you can see yourself. Hello everybody, welcome back to my channel. Welcome to a weekly vlog. I just, this morning, decided that I wanted to weekly vlog and would have picked up my camera, but my camera was dead. So, I charged my camera. And this boy is just very smiley. So, it is currently Monday and... <laughs> James is granny and granda, my mummy and daddy. No, 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 yeah, close the door, good boy. He is into everything at the minute. I was actually gonna do like a 10 month old routine, but I figured I would just do a weekly vlog and it'll kind of show a lot of it in it anyway. But yes, James, granny and granda, my mummy and daddy are, don't stop turning up the volume. They are away to Rome. Well, they're actually going tomorrow, but they are going down to Dublin to stay tonight because their flight is very early tomorrow morning. <laughs> so my mummy rang me yesterday. I was like, is she staying here tonight because she's at the gym tomorrow morning? I was like, no, 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 I don't have the gym to tell. She's like, well, can he stay? So they requested that he stayed last night, so he did. So I had a lovely morning. I lay in until eight and my alarm went off and I felt like I was late for something when my alarm went off just because I haven't been woken by an alarm in don't know how long, you know, any time that he stays away, really. Um, but it's been at least a couple of weeks since he's been away. So, what are you doing? <laughs> so yes, I had a lovely morning. I had breakfast. When I say breakfast, I literally had tea and toast. But... Then I went to the gym, like I obviously said. Um, went to the gym at 10 this morning, and then whenever I went home, like to my mummy and daddy's, um, we just sat about for a while, and now it is nearly half two. James will be ready to go down for a wee nap <clears throat> shortly. He's up since about half 11. Yeah, it's, it's 2.32 actually. Uh, James has been up since about half 11, and he's had his toast and some fruit and he'll get be getting a wee B-O-B-O -B -O soon. I can't say the word because he'll go mental. But I don't think I've, I've, I've only done one routine video, haven't I? And it was eight months. I think, I don't think I did one for nine months. I had planned on it, but I just, I don't know. I just didn't get around to it. Um, his routine has changed quite not quite drastically but he gets like different food at different times and stuff like that so I'll be sure to include that in this vlog if there's any fellow mummies or daddies out there and that are interested he is a nightmare at the minute he is standing so he is like crawling so quickly like he basically sprints and as well he's pulling himself up on furniture he's been doing that for ages now and he is walking along the furniture. He is standing unaided for, like the other day, it was like over a minute. And then there's times where he just can't be arsed and he just goes straight down. Stop taking everything out of that drawer. James, James, he understands no, but just doesn't care. Like he knows he shouldn't be doing it. Like he'll actually like, if you say no to him, he'll be like, like hover his hand over something. Like yesterday he went to get a chocolate biscuit, um, hovered his hand over it and I said, James, ah, ah, and he was like, just hovering over it and then take it. Hi! Like, I will just show you what he has pulled out of this drawer. We need to put our wee lock things on it, but we just keep taking the drawer out and putting the drawer elsewhere because it's quicker. Uh, get that pen out of your mouth. You're a nightmare. Aren't you a nightmare? Stop that noise. Look, is he? Stand up. Come on. Stop. Like he did that without me trying to get him to do it. And then when you get him to try to do it, he just doesn't. We also can't say any words yet. And we still only have two teeth. Which I'm very, very shocked at. I thought we'd have more teeth. It is five past, well, almost five past three now. James is in bed and he actually has a bobo in bed which 
usually we don't really do but it's because of the time that he's going for his nap he's going to need it's, it's usually the second nap we do kind of have to give him his bubble when he's in bed because if he's down here he's going to be too awake and he'll not go over quick enough but he's ready for his nap and he will be ready for a bobo at about half three so i don't want him waking in prematurely from his nap because he's hungry so i'd rather just give him his bottle now and then he usually gets his dinner around six so that's still a good enough space in between meals i swear this wee boy doesn't know how to he does nothing but eat and he would eat anything. He could see you eating steak and he would think he's getting a bit. And then toast. Anybody has toast, he has to get a bit. A yoghurt has to get a bit. Like the yoghurt that I'm actually just about to have, the faye, what is it? Pomegranate and raspberry. Obsessed with this. He absolutely loves it. I'm like, mate, that is not yours. You, and it's not as if he's not fed. You can tell by looking at him he's fed and he gets ample meals and ample bobo a day so I don't know he's just hungry monster <laughs> so he has taken his eight ounces of bobo in bed at the minute and I'm gonna sit here and have a baby bell and the yogurt I just showed I am trying to be good I just Oh, I need a ring order medication. Um, what well, I was about to say just reminded me of that, but I am not losing the weight that I thought I would, you know, being quite active. And I know it's because I'm not tracking. I just kind of eat whatever, which isn't good. It's not good. But on that note, I need to order medication because, did I speak about it in my last video, that my thyroid is ridiculously underactive. Uh, my doctor was nearly quite worried when she rang me. She's like, Hannah, this is really, really low. And I'm on a certain medication that apparently if you go on this, you rarely, rarely go off it, ever. So, yeah. So I need to ring and order that and order my psoriasis, like hair treatment thing. <laughs> I'm falling apart. Sorry, the reason that I'm ordering the medication is because if you have an underactive thyroid, Apparently you can either gain weight or just find it difficult to lose weight and I'm definitely finding it difficult. Now I know I'm putting on muscle and I'm definitely more toning but I would like to lose a few pounds. I would just like to trim, trim down a wee bit. I'm fine the way I am. Like, I'm fine. I had a baby. And even at that, even if I didn't have a baby, this body would be absolutely 100%. But for a person that was like a size 6. It's kind of, <laughs> I know I'm never going to be single figure, like, clothes size ever again. I'm going to be a 10 or a 12 or whatever. I don't care. But I would just like to trim down a wee bit. And where am I losing inches? My bust. I don't even have inches to lose, so I don't know how I'm losing them. So I haven't actually updated you in a while, but I had camogie train on there, hence... The absolute shape of me. Um, James is just away trying to bed. He's not asleep yet. I'll turn on his monitor. Um, it is currently 13 minutes past seven, so Shane is making dinner tonight. He is making beef curry, I think. What else can curry? I think maybe beef curry. Um, so, yeah, when I was at training, Shane obviously just did. He doesn't want to go to sleep. Um, he just did James's dinner, bath, and then he was in his pajamas and like ready to go into his sleeping bag whenever I came home. So I quickly ran upstairs and saw him, which in hindsight probably didn't help. The fact that he now doesn't want to go down because he hadn't seen me for like an hour and a half, nearly two hours. Um, no, an hour and a half, about an hour and a half. Um, so obviously he was quite excited, and then I. Like five minutes later, I was like, okay, bedtime. So, probably wasn't a great parenting move, but I wanted to see him. So, yes, I am maybe going to head to the shower whenever she is making dinner. So that whenever I'm out of the shower, 
can just sit and have a dinner and have a bit of chill time. Morning everybody. It's Tuesday, it's half seven. No, oh, it's twenty to eight. James has been chatting to himself for about ten, fifteen minutes. And now he's just stopped. And he's lying back down. So I don't know whether to go in and wake up. I tossed and turned so much in my sleep last night. Like and I remember doing it. A lot. So it is eight twenty five and James is still asleep so I'm gonna go waking him now. Um I was like up and got myself dressed. I mean dressed, I mean leggings and a t-shirt and I've done his boiling water for his porridge. I think he's just turned turned awake. Look at his wee sleepy head. <laughs> First straight over to the camera. Take your dodo out. <laughs> Look at you standing up. Big strong boy. Big strong boy. How cute were these pajamas? He had them in like three to six or six to nine as well. <gasps> That's a big story. <laughs> you want to weave? Weave. Weave. James. Weave. Too early in the morning to weave, is it? <laughs> First meal of the day is porridge. <laughs> oh, so Come on. Oh, yummy. Alexa, play the Teletubbies theme tune. Every time. Teletubbies theme by Teletubbies from Spotify. He loves it. <laughs> Please excuse those curtains. They were in the house. We haven't changed them. We'll wait to see what other song James absolutely loves. It's so random. Alexa, play Johnny Be Good by Chuck Berry. Johnny Be Good by Chef Ben from Spotify. So this is how we finish breakfast. We have a five ounce bobo, so I think there's like 30 grams of porridge. In and around that anyway, most days it's over it. Actually, it's always over it. It's never under 30, but it's never like that much over 30. It might be like 33, 34, whatever. Um, of porridge, I'll, I'll show you the thing after. What? And now he is having a five ounce bobo and his formula is Optimal Hungry Baby which he's been on since birth pretty much. We just used him or used use him. Used normal optimal for what? We used normal optimal for oh, it was probably like a week. No, well obviously it wasn't a week because he was in hospital for a week. It must have been a week or two since he came home, so probably for the first month of his life he was on just normal optimal, but he was a big boy, a very hungry boy, so we moved to Hungry Baby and we've never had any trouble with it at all. <laughs> smiled away back. So pleasant this morning. It's only 9.55 but James is yawning. You're getting quite tired, aren't you? Um getting a wee bit unsettled. But Far too early for you to go down for a nap, darling. Far too early. We're sitting watching Mr. Tumble. I think Justin, I don't actually know, what it, Justin Fletcher, I think, is Mr. Tumble and Justin's name. I think he is a legend. I honestly think he's incredible. He's just... 
You love him, don't you? Loves Mr. Tumble. Right, it is literally about three minutes since that last clip. And I am now starting to think that when I thought he went back over to sleep, that he wasn't actually asleep, that he was just like lying in his cot. Because you're tired, like properly tired here. And it's, it's, it's 9.59. Like, really tired. He usually, to be fair, his first awake time is usually shorter than his second awake time, so only take, he takes two naps just now in a day. Um, so his first awake time, second awake time, third awake time. Um, his first, but his third awake time is just before he goes down to bed, so I nearly don't even count it because, you know, he's going down to bed at seven o'clock. Anyway, no matter what. Um, but, yeah, he's, he's usually awake longer than this like this is like not even two hours yet but he's usually awake like two and a half two and a half hours is first and then the second awake time is usually over three but in the morning he could be awake for over three it just depends but he's had a good sleep i don't know i don't know he's currently playing with the box she bought him a toy yesterday a wee hey doggy toy and what he's doing is playing with the box rather than the toy. So that has started. It's 20 past 10. Uh, James is in bed but not asleep. And I'm in a bit of a predicament because usually what... Or basically I'll have my breakfast whenever he's down for his first nap. Which is kind of... It's more of a brunch. Um... I find that's okay because I'm not absolutely starving in the morning anyway so I just if I leave like my first meal to later that means every other meal is later and I generally have quite a small lunch like I kind of just like snack at lunch really but I had a square bar whenever James was up there because it actually was just a wee bit peckish this morning um but also I couldn't make my breakfast because it's just not happening. Oh. He's just chatting away then. So. Uh, but yeah, I didn't have that that long ago, so I'm actually not hungry enough for breakfast now. But I know I will be in like an hour. So I don't know what I'm going to do. I'll maybe just hold out and then hopefully by the time he's up from his nap and getting his toast, then... I can make mine because when he eats his toast he's very chilled like he just sits and eats his toast and is no bother because he's obviously eating his toast he is entertained that's not the word occupied he's occupied so preoccupied <laughs> you know what I'm trying to say he's not annoying me <laughs> so I have time that's generally when I like do the dishes or um, fold the clothes or put a wash on, blah blah blah. I have clothes in the tumbler at the minute. I have a wash to put up on the clothes or on the clothes horse, and I fold the clothes whenever he was drinking his bobo this morning. So with that done, I can't hoover when he's down for his sleep, so I can't do any of that now. So I think I'm just gonna sit and watch Grace Anatomy. I guess he slept for over an hour. His hair looks really dark today. Um, so we now have some toast with peanut butter and banana. And yes, he's still in his pajamas. We do not get dressed in this house until we need to leave the house. Isn't that right? Yes. And we were on FaceTime there to Granny and Granda, weren't we? Yes. They were arrived safe and sound in Rome. So we were just upstairs on FaceTime to them. And it is now half twelve. So lunch time for you and I am going to go and get a yogurt and that's what I'm going to eat. I did actually have my breakfast when he was still down and I watched Grey's Anatomy as well. So because it took him a while to go over so I obviously, our fridge and freezer are out here in our utility room, isn't that weird? Um, so yeah, he slept 
for a good amount of time and it took him a while to go over. But, like he wasn't crying. He was literally just chilling in his bed, just not sleeping, just having a fun time with himself and his cot. Um so he was obviously away from me for a, a prolonged period of time. So I had more time to eat my breakfast, if that makes any sense. But yeah, we're both gonna sit here. Um, I am gonna watch a YouTube video, and Eve McGoey has just posted a new video. So I'm gonna watch it. And look, look at all the clothes that, like, they're all mine. They're all mine. And that bundle of Shane's. That one bundle. These two are mine. <sighs> we are heading on a walk. It does look as if it's about to rain. Look at the mess. Uh, yeah, it does look as if it's about to rain, but I, I need to get steps in today because it's just me today. I'm like still parenting today because Shane has football training later, so he won't be home before James goes to bed. So, and I would take James out to my mummy and daddy's, but they're in Rome, so that's not happening. Although I am taking him out after like his next nap because maybe brother Andrew wants fashion advice. So going out to see what he's gonna wear. But we're just gonna go on a walk. We'll see what the weather's like. We have your rain cover, so we're all good and you're in your big palm suit, which is dirty, but sure. We've got blanket and we've got a B-O-B-O. -B -O. And what time is it? It's about 25 to 2, so he will probably be ready for a nap around three. So we'll just walk for about an hour here and see. And then hopefully by the time we're back home, you're ready to go down, okay? <sighs> Let's get these steps in. Uh, the rain cover didn't stay off for too long. Sure it didn't. <laughs> He's well wrapped up in there. Actually quite mild, but it's just very wet. We're going through this wee walkway now, it's so nice, isn't it? Back in my spot, we went for a 5k, well, nearly 6k walk, actually. Um, so we were out for about an hour, I think. And now we're home. James is down for a nap. He's been down about 10 minutes, probably. So happy with that. I have just made myself boil egg on toast and you know what I'm absolutely starving so I'm gonna make this snappy but yeah I just wanted to update you. We're back, he's time for a nap. It is what time? Nearly five to four and this me get my lunch now. So I'm gonna watch another episode of Grey's Anatomy or most of it and then I'll get a little housework done tonight because she and isn't here tonight so it's just me and I'll just get housework done later on. <laughs> he loves seeing himself, the camera on the phone, whatever, like he just, you fancy yourself. To be fair, you are beautiful. You are beautiful. It is half four, he is just awake. He actually book crying which he doesn't do generally. He normally wakes and just kind of plays about in his cot for a while. So I wasn't sure. What? I wasn't sure if he was ready to wake. So I put him back down, but he then squealed. So he obviously was ready to be up. But we are just gonna head out to my mommy and daddy's now because like I said earlier, I have to give my wee brother fashion advice and then my other wee brother will be home from work so he'll get to see you <gasps> Uncle Matthew and Uncle Andrew are gonna get to see you <laughs> Hello I promise it is actually much later since my last clip but I'm pretty sure I'm in the exact same place I look the exact same, but James is away down to sleep now. It is 18 minutes past seven. So we bit later going to bed tonight. Um, well, I say that we usually just try anywhere between seven and half seven. So it's probably standard enough, but I like it to be closer to seven. 
Uh, I just think he sleeps better. I don't know. But my sister called up, so he obviously was spending time with her. And we bathed him and gave him his dinner. I said this the wrong way about We gave him his dinner first and then bathed him. And he is now in bed. So I am probably going to make my dinner for about 8 o'clock. So I'm just sitting here chilling now. And hoping that he goes over to sleep soon. He's just taken his dodo out of his mouth and put his straight back in. And just going, mmm. So that is where we are tonight. Morning everybody. It is almost 10 o'clock. James is actually in his bed again for his first nap. He woke at about 20 to 8 this morning so he's been up by the time he actually goes over to sleep. It'll be two and a half hours which I do like him to be awake a wee bit later than that. If I could push it to be like two hours 45 minutes that would be ideal but he was just getting quite unsettled there. But Good morning, James slept 12 hours last night, so happy days. I actually woke like naturally at 25 past seven, so I just kind of like lay on my bed, did wordle, did hurdle, and yeah, he is just rolling about like not normal. He was very unsettled this morning to the extent that I actually thought there was maybe something wrong. Um, basically, <laughs> he was in really, really good form, like when I went into his room, um, and he had been sitting chatting to himself and I'd been listening in the monitor for probably about 10 minutes before I left him. And then I went in and he was full of smiles and I was getting the sleeping bag off him. And he had a dodo in his mouth and he grabbed another one. And I took the other one out of his hand and put it down because he obviously doesn't need two dodos. And he screamed. And I was like, what the hell? So then I left him and gave him the dodo. Um, which I maybe shouldn't have done, but it was just something crying. Uh, we'll cross the tantrums whenever we come to them. Like, obviously, he's too young, really, to be like taking tantrums and stuff now. But then we went into my dressing room and he started to try and eat my straighteners. So I took those off him, and again, he squealed. So I took him downstairs, changed his bum, squealed. Took him out for his breakfast. He was in horrible form waiting on his breakfast and then when he kept like looking into the bowl to see how much was left whenever his breakfast was nearly done again squealing the house down uh it was not fun at all like i've never really he was like shaking he was like like proper big tears run down his face and i don't, I don't know what it was and then i got a bobo and he was fine so i don't know what that was this morning but it was not vloggable because <laughs> I, I had fully intended to pick up my camera as soon as I came downstairs this morning but that was just not happening no way and I just went to make myself a cup of tea and I remembered that we have no milk yeah no milk so I'm distraught had a yogurt this morning which James ate part of as well because you can't have food around him he has to have it as well. So I am going to eat a square bar here now and then I'm going to go and get myself dressed. I have a dermatologist appointment today for my psoriasis. It's like actually getting quite bad. Like I feel it there. And then I've got a patch on my left eyelid. Uh, and then this patch here. This is actually a spot or some sort of blemish. But this is a wee patch here. I have it in my left ear. Obviously all over my scalp and my left underarm. So yeah, this needs sorted. And I also need to go to the chemist and collect my medication for my 
Right. Seconds away from leaving the house to literally just walk around the town, get a few things. It started to lash. If I put his wee ring cover on him, he'll be absolutely fine. But I'm gonna look ridiculous. Like it is lashing, and I have to get these few things. Like we've no milk and need milk. Rain stopping in 17 minutes, starting again 13 minutes later. Is that accurate? I would highly doubt that that is accurate. I think I'm just gonna put his rain cover on and I'll just get soaked. Oh, stupid weather. Look, look how cute he is. Hello, darling. He's just being a bit grumpy today, like he's he's fine, but he's just being a bit yappy, um, which he's usually not, he's usually so like happy-go-lucky, like he's a very just happy child, but today, not so much, not so much. Nick Cope's podcast is on, so James is watching it. He was in the kitchen and heard it come on. He's in his walker, heard it come on and sprinted in his room to watch it. But it is about a quarter to two. My dermatologist appointment isn't until three, but he will need to nap. So I'm really struggling. <sighs> Do we leave early? And hopefully he goes over for a nap before half past and it'll just, be, I think it'll be quite an early or quite a, a short nap and then does he just go to bed earlier? I think that's just what's gonna have to happen because I think he's, he's getting tired. He's never going to last until after the dermatologist appointment. Like there's literally not a chance. So we got all our stuff done down the time, didn't we? And when we got ourselves a Coke Zero, we have an ASD order arriving this evening and there's cans and stuff in it. We've had like no cans in the house for a bit of a week. And you know, just in the evenings, you just want a wee fizzy drink, but we always have like, I really like Vimto Zero, but the only place I can seem to get it is Home Bargains. I don't be in Home Bargains an awful lot. So Vimto Zero, I really like Fanta Zero. I think it's, like, very similar to Fanta, obviously that's the point, but it's not a massive noticeable noticeable difference for you to have to drink normal Fanta, Coke Zero and Pepsi Max. And 7-Up Free, actually, I like 7-Up Free too. In fairness, there's not many fizzy drinks I don't like. It's kind of like a weakness of mine. Probably should have gone off something like fizzy drinks for Lent, but I went off online shopping and hasn't gone that well, let's be honest. But we have a dinner dance next Saturday night and I had to buy an outfit for it because I genuinely don't have anything. And I'm not sure I'm actually obsessed with my outfit. This will be up before the dinner dance, so keep an eye out on my Instagram. See my outfit, I, it's nothing exciting. How did I get onto this? I don't know. I right, stop talking, shite, and get this wee man ready. I have his mini nabby bag packed. This will be Kath Kitson. Like, <gasps> Mr. Temple. Hello. Hello, hello. Uh, yeah, I've got his nappy bag packed and then I have a few snacks for me because I'm gonna be driving about just waiting for him to go to sleep. Do I go now? He's been up since about 11. And it's 1.48, so he's been up almost three hours, obviously. Oh, traffic. Yeah, I should go to the stairs. It's good. Somebody fell asleep. At two o'clock. But is now awake. And it is... Whoa. <laughs> 2.45. So, I actually... I know, like, roughly where this is. And I know I'm, like... Kind of near it. But I don't actually know which building is the surgery. It's not in my normal GP or anywhere I've been before. 
Well, we got James a new car. See, I don't think I've spoken about this, so we don't have to do it anymore. <laughs> oh, I love the dinner so much. Honestly, highly, highly recommend. So we went for the Joy. Is that how you say it? Joy Ice Bin 360 or something. I'll leave the proper name either on the screen or down below. But really enjoying it so far. It's one that can be forward facing and it's up until he is like 36 kg or else four. Is that right? I think that's right. But the man who we bought it from, like who was selling it to us, uh, was like, yeah, he'll be the, the weight before the age. <laughs> Big boy. Right, we have to wait a wee minute for the rain to go and then we'll go to the doctor's. Woo! Excuse the red face. I have literally just arrived home from the gym. Why did I show you my house? Like, you know what it looks like. Like, look, I'm home. Anyway, just home from the gym. The conditioning part of that session was absolutely stinking. Uh, hence the red face. Shane was just putting James to bed and everything. Uh, I've, have I updated you after the dermatologist? I don't think I did. Uh, I just have a pile of new creams to try. Oh, where did I put my prescription? There. <laughs> Christ averted. Uh, yeah, a pile of new creams to try. Um, I need to go to the chemist and get those tomorrow. But I am absolutely starving. So I'm going to head in here now and make some dinner show you what I'm having because I'm going to have the same as I had last night and I didn't show you last night so I'll just show you tonight. So this is my dinner before my pray pray sauce. Oh shit, I'm going to get apples earlier. Um, Asda Mexican rice, Asda frozen like mixed veg and a chicken fillet with pray pray salt on it and then I'm just going to mix it all together and Add about 10 grams of this. And here's Shane's portion. His chicken fillet is a lot larger than mine. Dinner has been eaten and then I went for a shower. You'll obviously be able to see a wash up here and now I'm having a protein shake. I was actually thinking I might do a what I eat in a day, maybe a day next week. Um, sorry, I've just seen a um, wall. Well, a mental message. Um, yeah, I might do what I eat in a day next week just because I am trying to be quite good. Like I said, we have our dinner dance. I think I said I had an event, but it's our dinner dance, club dinner dance next Saturday, so a week and a half away. And also, I ordered two more dresses because I just I'm having a bit of a mare. But anyway, um, yeah, I want to look my best and as well next week is the last week of this gym block. So the gym I go to is The Yard, um, work out with Anna, The Yard. I'm sure most people watching this know exactly what I'm talking about and who I'm talking about. Um, but I started doing her grind classes whenever I started at the gym and then she started a thing called the grind games. So this is the fourth grind games and this one lasts for six weeks. The details of the fifth one have just been put up and it's like Olympic lifting and I'm like what? I just don't think I'll be able to do that but whatever. Um, so yeah, next week is the last week of this like grind games which is our testing week. Uh, I'll probably be eating more next week on my training days, but I think I'll just do a, what I eat in a day. Anyway, oh, there's Shane. Hello. Hello. Did you... Is this the protein sugar that you were using? Okay, because I found this and then I was like, oh my god, we do have two. Which but it? In the cupboard. Oh, I didn't do it to you. Ah, okay, we do. Yeah. Where is the other one? Oh, okay. Yeah, we do have two. There's one out there, we do have two. Yeah, okay. Happy days. Uh, Shane also got me this. I've seen a pile of people talking about these on Instagram. Now, there's 21 grams of protein. 
but there is also like 24 grams of carbs so it's quite carby. Morning everybody, please excuse Justin's house in the background but you'll be able to see somebody has a big bruise. So this happened last night when I was on my way to the gym. She and text me, he was crawling so it's not even as if he was walking along the furniture. He was crawling and just like missed his hand, like went to put his hand out and just like missed it or lost his balance or something and hit the leg of a table. So yeah, James woke up at about 20 to 8, quarter to 8 and it's now 20 to 9. He has had his porridge and six ounce bobo. He actually didn't take the rest of it but he was just pissing about because I was like, look at him. I was on, or we were on FaceTime to my mummy and daddy in Rome, so he was obviously more interested in them than his B-O-B-O, -O. but yes, good morning. It is a horrible day. The health visitor is here today, it's three o'clock. She hasn't been here in ages, obviously the day that he, like that's his first bruise. I'm actually impressed that it's taken this long to get a bruise. Uh, because he is a complete wrecker, but look that drawer Just continually stays out there like he was it was basically on top of him this morning but Yeah, health visitor health visitor is out today at 3 And that is all we are doing today. So I have some tidying To do I have a kamogi match tonight, so Shane's mummy is going over oh, to look after James, put him to bed, etc. Because Shane has training. You maybe can't even see, but if you can, please excuse the fact that I am literally just in a sports bra. But James is up from a nap, aren't she? I'll explain this in a minute. Uh, James is up from a nap and he is getting his toast. He was awake for almost three hours actually, which was very good. Uh, he went down. Don't eat that. I know that's literally what it's for, but it's not what we're using it for, James. No. Uh, he went down about. What time did he go down? About 25 past 9. And he was up at like 7 40. So it's near, like, it's just over two and a half hours but you know I think that's I think that's pretty good uh, and then he slept for about an hour so it is now quarter to twelve he is just getting his toast the teething mitt is not for teething it's to basically make it that he can't use his left arm so if this is your first time watching me or you haven't watched a lot of me then you will not know but James was born with a shoulder dystocia which meant he just basically couldn't use his right hand, his right arm at all. He's figuring out a way to do it with that teeth in it. Too freaking smart. Um, and at 10 months old, he probably should have, um, like, he should have better function on his right arm. But, uh, these things happen. They shouldn't happen, but they happen. And uh, we're just doing everything we can to get him to use his right hand so it's basically this movement now so if he brought something up to his mouth he would have it like this or this and we're trying to get it that it's this so he can't do it with his left so it's not as if he can't do it he is a wee shit he is figuring out a way to do this with the teeth in it you're a bad boy use your right hand just your right hand um, yeah, and that's why if anybody has ever noticed, James's right eye is quite a bit smaller than his left. Um, it's just from his very, very traumatic birth, which I promise I will talk about fully at some point, but just not right now. Um, so yeah, we're trying to get him to use his right hand and not use his left. Keep it down. That's why if you ever see blue tape on his right wrist i'll show you actually whenever i put it on whenever he gets dressed uh, that is kinesio tape and it is to try and supinate his 
and fun times. So I, the reason I am in a sports bra is that my sweatshirt was in the tumble dryer, just getting a wee bit like fluffy and stuff. So I'm gonna chuck that on now. <laughs> so you don't have to see my bare shoulders. Very, very white shoulders anymore. Time to get dressed. <laughs> Come on. Come on, let's go get dressed. Your hands are dirty. So this is the kinesio tape. I actually think it's maybe a wee bit less on them. Um, but it'll be okay. Like it's still gonna be doing something. So I'll basically wrap it around his wrist and then like round and up round his elbow. <laughs> And I think we have another tooth coming. Do you? Yeah, I think we have this tooth here coming. Which will be good. So I'm just going to get him dressed and then I actually have to collect my wee brother from the bus. So we'll go do that, won't we? So James went down for a nap. He slept for about 45 minutes. So the same that he slept yesterday for his second nap. He's now getting a snack. And I'm about to get a bowl of porridge because... I said we have a match tonight. Oh, he has done something to my camera and I don't know what it is. But anyway, um, yeah, we have a match tonight so I need a wee bit more food on board. I don't know if I'm going to be playing or not but I still just need a bit more food on board. So like I said, I'm going to have porridge. Um, I don't actually know how much milk I'm going to have so I need to weigh that out. I haven't made porridge in forever. Like, I can't remember the last time I actually had porridge. Shane's mummy will be here any minute, but I am now in my kamogi gear, ready to go, and I have no tan on my legs. I have no tan anywhere, but my legs are. Oh, there's Alexa on the ground. So, it is 21.34. My dinner is just on now, obviously, with the match, kind of slap bang in the middle of dinner time. I haven't eaten my dinner yet, but we won our match. I played for about 15, 20 minutes. When I say I played, I was on the pitch and blocked the ball twice, and that is literally all I did. So, <laughs> I may as well not have been there. It was so cold, oh my God. Like I literally just had to go to the shower. I literally didn't sweat the entire time, so I didn't actually have to shower, but I went to the shower because I was so freezing that I just needed to heat up, so. I'm gonna get my dinner now, which isn't ideal, and I still have to take a protein shake as well. I might just take that with my dinner, you know. I might do that because I have to get my protein in for today, so. Protein shake. And the same dinner I had the last two nights. Uh, probably seems quite boring, but I swear, try it. It is so nice, and it's really filling, and it's really, really tasty, so. Don't knock till I try it. I know it sounds so boring, trust me. You see if somebody had said to me, like, try this dinner, I'd have been like, oh my God, I didn't put the, but I didn't put it in. I didn't close the George Foreman. So I've been cooking one side of my chicken for a good five minutes. I am stupid as book. Uh, yeah, so what is it to me? You will try this really healthy dinner. Lovely. I've been like wise up, but I swear to God, this is this is really nice. So I'm gonna watch Molly May has just uploaded a mukbang. So perfect thing to watch while I'm eating and I'm gonna make my good morning. So I woke up this morning. I could hear James. That's how I'm waking every morning. And I knew Shane wasn't at the bed, so I knew it was like a normal time to be waking up. Or so I thought. It's 20 past 8. It just didn't wait, it's 20 past 8. And obviously, neither did I. I was absolutely shattered last night. Don't really know how, but yes, he didn't wait till 20 past 8. <laughs> so it's now 29, and I'm just making his porridge. The kettle's just boiling, but like, do you know what? It's actually not a good thing today. <laughs> because I get my eyebrows on a half ten and it's lamination so like it's going to take a while so I can't really take him with me 
but I have nobody to look after him because mommy and daddy, they are, they're in Dublin, but like they're home from Rome, but they're not home yet. What? <laughs> so well slept, why? Um, yeah, they're not actually home yet. Um, I, I really hurt my neck last night and I don't know how, like, I did it, like not sleeping. I did it at the match, but I think it was just when I was sitting down. Who you waving at? Uh, yeah, so I was going to get my brother Andrew to look after him, but it was going to work out that it was at his nap time, so Andrew wouldn't have had too much to do, but because I can't really expect him to look after him because he doesn't know how, you, like, he's, what did you say, 22, just has never changed a nappy, like, you know, I just can't expect him to look after him and put him down for a nap. So, yeah, I'm gonna have to take him with me. But yes, I get my eyebrows done today. I'm so excited. They're so blonde. Look at them. What? <gasps> you gonna wave? Wave? Wave bye bye? No, okay. So, change the plans. Andrew is looking after James, but oh my god, this weather. There's, there's literal hailstones, like I'm sure you can see. But I'll show you my windscreen, it's so bad. But I wanted to show you my brows before. I'm so excited to see the after. But look at that. Like, seriously. It's April. It's April. Ah, <sighs> heelstones. Like, when was it? A couple of weeks ago? Like, it was like short weather. It was roasting for here. It's two degrees Celsius today. Done. Oh, they look so much better. Also, they look a wee bit mental because they're literally just done. And I am as white as a ghost. And I was planning on doing tan actually last night. And then I decided against it because we have our dinner dance next week. And I thought, frig it, I'll just leave it. Oh, so cool. Leave it and I will do better tan next week. I always feel like my tan is best when I've had like a week of no tan. So yes, I look a bit crazy, but now I am about to head home. I wonder if James is asleep. James had a one hour nap and then my mum and daddy arrived home from Rome. So I went and got lunch there for mummy, daddy, me and Andrew. So I was planning on having like a bagel and bacon medallions and egg but and like having a higher calorie dinner but I'm just gonna basically swap it around. So obviously because oh this camera's just gonna shake but the fact that we have matched tonight I need to have eaten a good bit of food before the game so I was gonna have like a, a really high calorie dinner because it's so nice oh my god like I was saying gonna have a high calorie dinner but it's it's so deadly but I'm gonna have it tomorrow instead I'll put it on the slow cooker before I leave for my wedding tomorrow she can turn it off before he leaves um, so I'm gonna eat more at lunchtime today and then less for dinner because our match is at half seven I'm not gonna be home to like probably half nine and by that stage I'm just gonna want to get a shower and go to bed so I'm not really gonna want to eat an 868 calorie dinner I think it is I know that sounds so much but that would still leave me with like 900 ish calories to eat during the day you know but anyway uh, yeah I'm not gonna do that <laughs> Okay, it has been a few hours since I have spoke to you, but it's now half six. We have another Kabuki match tonight. Um, this, is this is our seconds, I said basically, it is literally our seconds playing. Um, so it's kind of like our reserves, I suppose. Um, so yeah, we have a match tonight. Morning, uh, yes please. Morning everybody, hello. So, I can't actually remember the last thing I filmed, but 
We had our art match last night. We won. You didn't go. The worst supporter ever. Uh huh. Um. Yeah, we won, and it was absolutely freezing. Oh my god. So when I came home. I just like ate and then do you know what I started to do was watch videos of James as a baby like a baby baby I know it's not a baby but you know what I mean and <laughs> what you gonna wave bye bye oh good boy wave bye bye <laughs> so good so I have a wedding today that's why I say this morning but it's actually not this morning um so I'm dressed. I don't really like what I'm wearing, but I'm just at our, I have no tan on, and I kind of want to be as covered as possible. So this is what I'm wearing. James, stop it! <laughs> he has porridge all over his face. <gasps> Daddy, make me make up tea. She <laughs> is and she is. <laughs> There is a wee woman walking by me there, so if I like just abruptly stop filming, that's why. I've just arrived at today's wedding. Um, it's a local one. I'm in Kilray, and then on to Ballyscullion Park in Malahi, which is lovely. So both local, which is handy, and it's also the wedding isn't until one o'clock, so it was even better because it meant I had quite a slow morning. Um, I have a lunch with me today. I usually stop and get a wrap or something, but I just thought, no. Trying to A, be good, and B, save money. So, yeah, but I'm about to head on here now. It is one minute past 12, so. Hope you enjoyed those clips of me uh, warming up. So, just arrived to the reception venue, and I am one of four cars here, so. Yeah, nobody is here yet. It was only like a 20 minute drive from the chapel to the reception so I didn't expect anybody to be here yet because everybody will be taking their time whereas I ate while I was driving and now I'm here pretty early but I'm gonna go in and get set up I'm not gonna bring you in obviously um I'm just not gonna do that <laughs> do you ever just have one of them days where you're just like ugly today is that day for me I look horrendous and have done all day I think it's because I've no tan on and I just, I feel like shit. And my hair is literally up in a bun to do my gig tonight. It is 8.33, my gig isn't for another hour and it's about 15 minutes away, but I want to go and get a packet of sweeties. Also, I'm staying in my mummy and daddy's tonight because Shane and James are in Shane's mummy's house. Shane had a match today and then it's actually his brother's birthday, so they're going out to a bar tonight. So, uh, James is staying with Shane's mummy which is lovely so I have training in the morning so I just thought I would stay in my mummy and daddy's house uh, rather than coming home here I have I've stayed here loads myself but it's just not the vibe whenever you come in and there's nobody here so yeah I'm gonna stay in my mummy and daddy's house so it's my first time staying in my bedroom since I've moved out which is gonna be really weird waking up there so just a wee two hour gig tonight and it's like half nine, half eleven so it's a nice time to excited for that. Need to get my bag ready for staying tonight and then for training tomorrow. And then I'm gonna head and get a packet of sweets. Been good all week so I feel like I deserve it. Actually my mummy texted me and was like, Do you wanna come out here for dinner? And I was like, Oh yeah I will and then she said Chinese question mark and I was like no, I'm being good. So I had a turkey burger, rice and veg. I mean, that is like, honestly, very proud of myself. Very proud of myself. 
Well, isn't this weird? I am, I am at my mummy and daddy's house. I'm in my old bedroom. I'm getting in the bed. Oh, it feels really weird. Like really, really weird. Um, my gig ended up a bit of a shambles tonight, and like nothing to do with me. Um, a man fell and I think he bust his head open and there was an ambulance coming so I had to stop singing early and then um yeah I just had to stop singing early because it was obviously not very appropriate if I continued to sing while a man was lying on the floor I, I don't think he was I, I think he was conscious I don't know actually but yeah like not good but I'm gonna head to sleep now, so I shall see you in the morning. Leo, it is like two weeks after, three weeks? Two, I think two weeks after this video has ended and I am only now actually editing it and I've just come to the end of editing it and realised that I didn't actually finish the vlog at all. So... This is me editing the vlog and I'm now going to edit another video which will be up after this one. So the way I was talking about this will be up before the dinner dance etc. It isn't. It is not up before the dinner dance. It is up almost two weeks after the dinner dance. So yeah this is three weeks ago this vlog that you've just watched because, because it is now the 27th of April. <laughs> So I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, please give it a big thumbs up. Subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. And hopefully I'll see you in my next one. Bye.